What's going on guys? This is Mike Noid and today uh, we're going to be looking at my weight loss coach uh, for the Nintendo DS. We're going to be unboxing this and we're actually going to try it for at least one month. So I just went to my local CD exchange and they actually had this just behind the case. I bought it for six dollars. That's how much it's basically going on eBay. So I didn't pay more. I didn't pay less for it. It's still brand new. As you can see, it's still in a shrink wrap. I still have the sticker on there as well. Uh, the color of the box is kind of faded. It looks like it's been sitting uh, in the box for quite a long time now. So Nintendo has always tried to put fitness games on their consoles because uh, you know the longer you live for the longer you're gonna be buying their products so they want you to stay healthy uh, they want you to be fit so they've always tried to do stuff like this the my weight loss coach isn't my only weight losing game for the DS I also have the world's biggest loser and personal fitness for men so what's cool about this game it actually comes with a pedometer which if you don't know it tracks your steps basically uh, how a smartwatch and your phone does nowadays but back then uh, we didn't have that technology so that's why they had to make a whole different device just to track your steps this isn't the only pedometer that nintendo has made for their games probably the most famous one is the pokey walker that came with pokemon heart gold and soul silver the beauty of that device is that you can use it to catch pokemon when you're not playing you know the actual heart gold and soul silver games you put a pokemon on there you walk around with it you collect items catch pokemon there was also a Wii fit trainer pedometer that looks pretty similar to the pokey walker actually so nintendo has always used the gba slot for very interesting things uh, one thing I could think of the top of my head is using it for Guitar Hero and it's kind of a shame that Nintendo took away the GBA slot for future DS products the DSi and the DSi XL did not get the GBA slot so my weight loss coach was actually developed by Ubisoft and according to the back of it it says to improve your physical well-being and just five to ten minutes each day you'll learn to reach the ideal balance between the diet and exercise to achieve your optimal body weight you got your daily objectives you have 60 challenges with trivia games and tips and it allows you to follow up on your diet and your weight so the ultimate goal of this is to basically lose weight uh, keep track of what you're eating and just be more healthier i guess so we're gonna go ahead and unbox this and hopefully the pedometer works we might have to get a new battery for it but we should be getting that and the game inside also a side note i went to uh, another retro game store and they were just selling the game used for ten dollars I, I like what's up with that guys so unboxing this is pretty straightforward uh, you just take off the shrink wrap of the actual box and then inside you get the game and the pedometer starting with the game uh, this is actually covered in shrink wrap as well which you know tells you that it's still brand new and when I opened it the game itself was actually put upside down so uh, I just thought that was a little bit weird and funny and of course you do get all the documentation that usually comes uh, inside a DS game. And this case does have a slot where you can put a GBA game, which is pretty cool. So now we have the pedometer itself. It comes with a clip that you just attach onto the back. And then it has a little tag that you can pull to insert the battery and get the pedometer going. Uh, the pedometer itself is made out of plastic. It feels very light and hollow. You just shake it a couple times and it records a pretty decent amount of steps. So everything you see right here came inside of this box and it was still in new condition. So now that we've unboxed my weight loss coach, uh, I actually do plan on using this for one month. I will use this daily. I will uh, do everything it tells me to do. I'll play it every day and we'll, we'll see our results. I mean, it, it'll be kind of fun to see if this would actually work. Uh, obviously, like I said, we have other technologies. We have smartwatches. We have cell phones. You know, something like a pedometer. It's kind of obsolete in these days, but you know what? I feel like if we actually put in the effort to use this every day, uh, we'll, we'll actually get some results. So I'm going to try this out. I'll talk about the features of it, talk about the pedometer itself, and... Uh, we'll see the results. So it's been over a month since I started my weight loss journey and before I discuss the actual game and my experience, I just want to give my overall appreciation to the DS that I used. I didn't charge it before I started one month ago and it still lasted throughout the whole month. 
It wasn't until the last couple of days when the light finally turned red. It just goes to show you how great the battery life on these really were. Now I want to show my depreciation for the stupid pedometer. Pretty much a day after I started, it fell off my waist, hit the pavement, and it, yeah, now, now it's cracked, my guy. Which I guess makes sense because it is pretty cheap. It's whatever though, I, I won't be using it no more anyways. The game starts out with introducing you to what you will be doing and asking for your age, height, weight, and gender to calculate your BMI. And after being asked to record your first steps with your pedometer, you have access to what the game offers. The pedometer option will allow you to record how many steps you've taken by having it plugged into the GBA slot. It's actually cool that you can still enter your steps if something were to happen to your pedometer, but I always plugged in mine to get the accurate count. You can do challenges that allow you to be active, eat healthier, and overall make life quality choices. Some of these are great since they will motivate you to actually do something, but other ones are just plain stupid. Like I understand that some of these can push you to do healthy habits, but does it really matter if I listen to good music while I eat? You can record your workouts that you've done during the day. You can choose to do a quick or detailed recording method. It's better to do detailed because you are able to choose a specific activity and put how much time you actually did it for. There's a good variety of exercises you can choose from, but uh, they don't have everything in here. So you might do an activity that you've done for the day, but it won't show up in here. And then you can record which foods you've eaten. I didn't do these too often because foods that I eat aren't even on this list most of these choices are just really broad and they can't cover every food that anyone can possibly eat there's some additional content to the game like trivia questions and tips in the backpack option doing these quizzes can earn you new challenges to do if you get tired of listening to good music while you eat i still can't believe that's an option so overall i think this was somewhat enjoyable to do i mostly did challenges that require me to walk a very short distance or either choose the foods that are more healthy for you and you know i try to aim uh for the pedometer goal every day but you know sometimes i just don't end up walking uh more than i should so it actually ended up going down multiple days i think the final amount that it required me to do was like 3,000 steps but every day i recorded my steps i did at least one challenge a day and it got me over 100 kilometers. So overall, I think I did pretty good. I mean, the overall game itself, it feels outdated and it's simple recording methods won't give you a good estimation, but I did appreciate the motivation I got from wanting to get my steps for today and completing the challenges. And this was fun and a interesting one month challenge that was definitely worth five bucks I paid for. Well guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Let me know how you guys stay in good health down in the comments below thank you guys for watching and of course i will see you guys in the next one take care you know what i think i might actually go and do a little bit of jogging or something uh, never mind i forgot i'm living in texas right now Be a show to remember